Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up keybinds in Star Trek Online. As always, chapters are listed down below. First up, why should you care about keybinds? Well, the further you get into STO, the more abilities you're going to have access to, and these abilities have a significant impact on how well your ship is going to perform in combat. Some of these are defensive buffs to help you stay alive longer, some of these are maneuverability buffs to help you get from point A to point B faster, some of these are going to impact certain parts of your build. For example, a firing mode is going to change how your weapons work. And of course, you're going to have a lot of damage buffs that go in and make your entire build do more damage. So it's important that you're not only using these abilities, but that you're using them at the right time in a run. And the issue we have there is that on an endgame build, you can easily have 20 to 30 different abilities that you want to have up either all the time or just during specific points in the combat. And if you're going in and you're trying to manually click all of these on your tray, that's a lot to keep track of. So if you're just going in and manually clicking them, you're not going to have great uptime on all of them, and you're going to be spending too much time focused on your tray rather than actually flying your ship. And that's where keybinds come into play. If you have abilities that you need to have up all the time, you can create a keybind that's going to go in and activate that entire tray of abilities so that you have them up as you keep spamming that key. If you have larger damage buffs, defensive buffs, or maneuverability buffs that you only want up during specific situations, you can have those on a different keybind so that you can hit them at the appropriate time in a run. So these keybinds are giving you more control over your abilities, they're giving you better uptime on them, and most importantly, they're letting you focus on flying your ship rather than staring at your tray of all of these abilities. And the first part of setting up the keybinds is to download the STO keybind tool from the link in the pinned comment down below. So go there, hit download, and give it a minute. Open that up. Agree to the license terms and conditions, hit install. Windows will flash up asking for you to hit yes there. So just hit that and give it a moment. Once that's done, hit finish and go to the start menu. Scroll down to STO Keybind and open up the STO Keybinds application. Okay, and before I do anything, I'm going to move my tray to the center of the screen just to make it easier to work on. So I'm doing this by hitting F12. Just dragging that to the center so it's easier for us to see. And for the keybind program here, I have some notes on what exactly I'm looking to do for, for myself here. So I want to set up a keybind for my main constant rotation tray, which is tray 10. So that's got my firing mode on it, my attack pattern beta, my chemo site, mixed armor synergy, narrow sensor bands, a couple other buffs here, and then my emergency power to subsystem abilities. I have a secondary tray for my larger damage buffs like attack power and alpha. So that's on tray nine. And I like to, to keep those separated because I want my larger damage buffs to, to be used at a very beneficial point in the combat. I don't want to waste them because I have them on just a main rotation spam bar. So having that separation there means I should be getting a bit more out of these abilities. Um, for my evasive here, I'm going to put that on my left control just so I have an easy speed buff that I can hit. And for fire all weapons, typically people put that on your on the, the spam bar, but I don't like to do that anymore. What we have found is that if you have fire all weapons on your spam bar, it looks like it's it's spamming that command too much to the server and your weapons may not firing may not be firing quite as much so if you want to do have those on your spam bar that that's fine but if you're looking for maximum performance then having that separation is going to be ideal and there is a nice fix in the controls that you can do with that that will make it so your weapons keep firing throughout the combat okay so I'm going to set up the, the first key here in the program. So to do this, I'm going to hit add key at the left. And then for, for the key here, I'm going to set this up as the F key. For most of you, you'd probably set this up as your space bar. I'm going to hit the plus sign then and add new activity. And I'm going to do execute full tray, tray 10. 
So I use F key as my spam bar basically for, for my main rotation tray. Bit weird, I know. Um, but if you want to do this as space bar or whatever, then go for it. This is just my personal preference. Next up, I'm going to add in another key. I'm going to go for key G here. You use whatever key you want, and I'm going to add new activity again. And I'm going to make this execute full tray, tray nine. So this is my uh, big damage buff tray here. Next up, I'm going to add in another key. And this one's going to be spacebar. But I'm going to do spacebar plus shift. I'm going to hit that checkbox there for, for shift. And this is going to be my fire weapons keybind. So I hit the plus sign again. And for the activity here, this is going to be fire all cannons and beams for me. I don't want this to, to go in and fire my Maelstrom when I hit this. I like to have manual control over Maelstrom if I have it on my build. If you want to do fire all weapons here, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but for me, I am going to go fire all cannons and beams. And along with that, the setting you need to change in the game, and make sure you're doing all of this in space, by the way. If you do this on ground, uh, the keybinds will load to ground, not to space. So head up to space for this. But in your settings here, go to the controls tab and at the very bottom, hit maintain auto attack on this drop down. And then whatever weapons you have set to auto fire, which is the, the green box around your weapons. If you don't see that, just right click on them to turn auto fire on. But whatever weapons you have set to auto fire will maintain that auto fire once you have fired them once in the run. So. Basically, I can just go in at the start, hit my shift plus spacebar against the first group of enemies, and then my weapons should keep firing throughout the rest of the fight. So you don't have to spam bar it the entire time. You can if, you, if you're worried about it, but I, I really do like to have that separation nowadays. I'm going to add in another key now, and I'm going to do left control. This is going to be just activating one slot on my tray. So this is execute slot on tray. This is gonna be tray seven slot one. So this is my evasive. And if I had some other abilities that I wanted to, to activate with this too, I could, I could go in and have it do partial tray if I wanted to have it hit that and do trim at the same time. But I'm just gonna leave it as evasive for now. And that's basically all I need to do to set up the, the basic keybind with the goals that I set there. I do still have abilities that I would be manually hitting, um, but, you know, so long as the majority of my abilities are being covered by the keybinds, I'm fine if I have a small handful of abilities that I'm manually hitting, because some of these, like Agony, the, the Iwani Console, the, the Juggernaut Array, um, Delayed Overload Cascade, like some of these abilities I want to have manual control over anyways, so I'm fine with those not being on on a keybind, but you know, again, having most of my abilities covered on a keybind is going to allow me to focus much more on piloting the ship. Now to load this into the game, hit create bind file at the top. That'll give you the command that you put in your chat window. So hit the copy to the clipboard button there. Go in game, go to your chat window, control V to paste that and hit enter. And just like that, I now have the keybind loaded in. And you can see here as I hit the F key, that's activating the abilities I have on tray 10. Keep in mind with any of these keybinds that it's not going to activate all of the abilities on the tray in one go. You are going to have to continue to spam the, the key to get all those abilities to activate. Just keep that in mind. But you can see here, you know, just hitting those keys, I've got most of my abilities covered very easily. And if you're wanting to do this on other characters, there's a few ways to go about it. Um, you can sometimes get the, the HUD area to, look, to, to work here. Um, if you hit save UI on the character with all your keybinds and HUD set up the way you want it, and then you go to your other characters and hit load UI, that'll sometimes do it. But you can also just go to your other characters Get them up to space, open your chat window up again, 
and just hit the up arrow to bring up the last thing you typed. Hit enter and just go through and do that on each of the characters you want the keybinds on. So it's really not that complicated to get the keybinds set up. And if you need to move your tray around, uh, hit F12 to do that. You can also split your tray up into two different windows if you want. I just do the one big personal tray and I have all 10 of the, the rows visible with that. And with the, the, the tray being this large with all 10 rows shown, um, if I do have abilities that I am going to manually hit in the run, what I'll sometimes do is just space them out. So if I have abilities that I know I'm going to be hitting right at the start, I'll have them grouped up together. If I have stuff that I'm hitting at the, the left side, I've got them there. And if I have abilities that I'm hitting at the end, I've got them all clustered together also. So if you do have things you're manually hitting, you can use that space to, to separate them out to make it easier to work with visually. Um, but yeah, again, as you saw, it's not that complicated. You don't have to use the exact keys that I did. If you want to do spacebar, that, that'll work perfectly fine. If you find that the, the fire all weapons thing isn't working for you, then you can go back in, edit the keybind, and just add that into your main spam bar if, if that's what you want to do. Again, for day-to-day for -day gameplay, that's not really going to be much of an issue. It's just that if you're chasing maximum performance, having fire all weapons on your main spam bar, not exactly ideal right now. And distribute shields also, I think I mentioned that already, distribute shield power, that's really not good to have on your, your tray right now. Um, that has a bit of an activation time on it, so I would avoid using that. And there is also some other keybinds in here that, that you can put in. Like if you're looking to put in the uh, start combat log or end combat log, you can put those uh, keybinds in also through this program. And there is a few other keybinds you may find quite handy in here also. But I think that pretty much covers it. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. And as always, thank you to all channel members and viewers for the continued support. See you guys around.